Like and subscribe <laughs> now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. There's something ingrained in humans that causes us to take dangerous risks and try things that might change the world. But not all of these inventions led to glory. Some failed, while others tragically ended in death. From the flying tailor to the person who revolutionized the press, here are 10 inventors killed by their own inventions. Number one is truly tragic, so definitely watch out for that. Number 10, Henry Smolnilski. Henry Smolnilski held a degree in aeronautical engineering from the Northrop Institute of Technology. Old Hank got the idea that a flying car was necessary. He wanted to create a commercially viable flying car. So he quit his job at Northrop and started Advanced Vehicle Engineers. In 1973, the company built two prototype vehicles called AV Mars by fusing the rear end of the Cyan Skymaster airplane, which could be attached and detached from the car with a Ford Pinto. The Chimera of vehicles were due to go into production in 1974, but on September 11th, 1973, Smolnilski and his friends and business partner Harold Blake were killed when the wing strut detached from the vehicle during a test flight. Bad welds were responsible for the crash. Number 9. Max Vellner An actual rocket scientist, Max Vellner was interested in building an on-the-ground rocket and he hoped to advance towards spaceflight. In 1920s Germany, Vellner was a member of the German Rocketeer Society, and his main contribution during that phrase was inventing of the liquid-filled rocket that could speed up automobiles. In 1927, he created the Space Flight Society, and in 1928, he created rocket cars that accelerated up to 145 miles per hour. And if it wasn't enough, in 1929, he created a rocket-powered sled that hit 250 miles per hour. After his spectacular success, he started to experiment with rockets using liquid propellant, hoping to soon experiment with rocket-powered aircraft. A rocket accidentally exploded, killing Vellmir in 1930. What a tragic ending it must have been. Number 8. Alexandria Bogdavnov Eternal youth has perplexed humans for centuries now, and this was one of them. The mad scientist was a Russian physician, writer, politician, and inventor of sorts. He was a major player in the 1970s Bolshevik Revolution and ended up in jail. He talked his way out of death row and back into medicine, where he became obsessed with blood. Bogdanov founded the Institute for Hermatology and was convinced that blood transfusion was the ticket to the fountain of youth. To back up his beliefs, he used himself as a crash test dummy and transferred blood from a patient suffering with malaria and tuberculosis into his system. He died two days later, on April 7, 1928, but the patient slowly got better. It seemed that the blood types were incompatible, something little known in the day. Number 7. Mary Curie Mary Curie was a Polish chemist slash physicist who pioneered research into radioactivity and won the Nobel Peace Prize, not just once, but twice. She is credited with the discovery of radium and polyunum and numerous advances in radioactivity, a word which she naturally invented. Her work led to the development of X-rays. For her work, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics and Chemistry. That made her the first woman to win the Nobel Prize and the only woman to have been awarded the Nobel Prize twice. She also remains the only person to win a Nobel Prize in two different sciences. There is a lot of men who have to catch up on, it seems. Her research exposed her to a lot of radiation though, and she died of leukemia in the 1934. Number 6. Karl Schlocks This is the craziest inventor you will ever have come across. Karl Schlocks is probably best known as the eighth person to go over Niagara Falls in 1984 in a homemade barrel. The professional stuntman developed a shock-absorbent barrel in which he would go over the Guy Niagara Falls. He did so successfully, but when performing a similar stunt in the Astrodome, there were some human errors that complicated things. The barrel was released too early, and Sulcliffe rolled off the Houston Aerodome in a self-designed barrel in front of an audience of 35 million people. 
a water tank below the Astrodome, was su supposed to soften Solkik's fall. However, the barrel clipped the edge of the tank. Solfik's skull was fractured, and his chest and abdomen were crushed. Number 5. Thomas Midgley. The death of this inventor is a very surprising one. Thomas Midgley was an American chemist well known for the two most popular inventions, Terriathacle lead and Dicorflodiothufane. If you try to pronounce it, you will just end up failing like I just did. In 1930, Midley discovered odor-free, non-toxic, and non-flammable refrigerant gas that could be used in residential refrigerators and air conditioners, called Dicilori Fossilfane, which was soon commercially produced as Freon-12 by Kinetic Chemicals Inc. Although applauded during his time, later he was castized for his inventions. He is known as the person who has unfavorably impacted the atmosphere more than any other single organism in Earth history, and is also the one human who is responsible for more deaths than any other in history. He was eventually affected by polio and lead poisoning, and was left confined to the bed. He needed extensive assistance to even raise from the bed. This encouraged Thomas to formulate an elaborate system of pulleys and ropes. At the age of 55, he had succumbed to death after being strangled by one of his pulleys. Ironically, both of his inventions were the reason behind his death. Number 4. Sylvester Roper A mechanist and inventor out of Massachusetts, USA, Sylvester Roper built a steam velocipede and demonstrated it at fairs and circuses. It is believed to be the oldest existing American motorcycle. Just look at this beauty. With its forged iron frame and wooden wheels, it resembles a Velocipede, a popular bicycle of the late 1860s. Twisting the handlebar controlled the throttle and brakes. Roper built several other steam vehicles, including another motorcycle, in 1895. But he died just before the motor vehicle manufacturer industry got underway. Mr. Roper's death was very dramatic. After making a phenomenal mile of a steam bicycle of his invention, he was troubled with heart disease and actually died while riding. He was exhibiting his engine applied to a modern safety bicycle. He demonstrated its utility, but did not live to receive the congratulations on his achievement, as he had a heart attack while he was on the bike. Number 3. Franz Richlet One of the first dramas associated with the Eiffel Tower is the misadventures experimented by Franz Rich, a French tailor. This brave man, an inventor in his time, has made a parachute suit which he wanted to prove efficient. He chose the Eiffel Tower as a test site. Before he could take off, he had to contact the Perfect of Paris, who agreed to the condition that the jump will be done with a mannequin, as he had not received the authorization to jump himself. However, on February the 4th, the 1912, known as the Chosen Day, at 8 a.m., Franz Rilcher appeared on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower without any mannequin. He was surrounded by a few police officers whose task it was to not hinder the experience. No one took the initiative to prevent the jump, and the whole thing lasted less than a minute. 40 seconds of hesitation for our man who was probably aware of the danger and a few more seconds for the fall that did not allow the costume to unfold normally. The man did not really fly. He fell heavily, causing a ground impact of 15 to 20 centimeters, and died instantly. He thought he was on the right track, but sadly, he did not take everything into account as the distance from the top to the floor. Number 2. Otto Lithau To fly was always more than just a technical challenge. The idea of conquering the skies is a dream that has fascinated would-be pilots since around 2300 BC. Before 1881, attempts to develop planes and gliders were occasional and irregular. Otto Lithol changed all that. He was able to make sustained and, re and replicable flights for the first time in history. Photographs of Lithol in flight were made famous around the world. Before Lithal, building a heavier-than-air craft was wildly considered to be the providence of dreamers and fools. Afterwards, it seemed possible to fly. Lithal developed 18 different models of his gliders over a span of five years and broke many laws of physics. It is perhaps ironic that he broke those laws and crashed to his death just north of Berlin. He was just 48 years old, but even though he died, he paved the way for the future of aviation, and now, 
there are always people flying in the air because of him. Number 1. The Press Revolutionary You probably know that the printing press was first built in the 15th century, and if you didn't, maybe it's time to read a book or two. American-based William Bullock improvised Richard Mark's Ho Rotationary Press in 1863, which was revolutionary. Due to the increased speed and efficiency, this changed the printing industry due to its great speed and efficiency. He also has designed and invented various devices such as cotton and hay press, a seed planter, a lathe cutting the machine, and a grain drill. Bullock's press allowed for automated continuous large rolls of paper, eliminating the back-breaking hand-feeding system of earlier presses. The press could print up to 12,000 sheets an hour, which later improved to be 30,000 sheets an hour. All went well until a deadly mishap. On April 2nd, 1867, while adjusting new presses that were being installed for the Philadelphia Public Ledger newspaper, his right leg was crushed accidentally in the machine when trying to kick out a pulley. After a few days, he developed gangrene. On April 12, 1867, Bullock died during an operation to amputate his leg. Which one of these inventions was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.